Okay, so on page 115, we are starting 3.1, Sequences of Transformations. And what we're going to look at is what happens when we apply more than one transformation to a figure. Um, and so if you look, we're not going to do this first page, but if you look to the um, next page, um, page 116, and we're looking, I'm going to look down here to explain one. And I'm just going to read through this and kind of point some things out. So the first thing it says is to reflect over line L, okay? And so reflecting over the line, remember, means that everybody is staying the same distance away from line L as they were in the pre-image. So here's your pre-image. And if you notice down here, um, A is the same distance from line L. B prime is the same distance as B. And C prime is the same distance from line L as C was, okay? So that is the reflection across line L. And now we're going to translate along vector V. So vector V is up one and one, two, three, four. Right four, okay? So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to write that in vector form. And, of course, 4 comes first because it's the x part. And right is positive. And then 1 because that's the y. And that's positive. So every point is going to move right 4 and up 1. So C moved 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1. B, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1. A, moved one, two, three, four, and up one, okay? And that is a combination of transformations. You just do one and then the other one. Now, I want you to think about something, and um, do, does order matter? Do you think order would matter in transformations? And it does. Just like order of operations, order matters in the transformations also. So flip to the next page. So on page 117, we're going to look at B here. And the first thing that it wants us to do is rotate 180 degrees around P. And then do the translation. Then translation. Okay? So when you're rotating 180 degrees around P, A, if you think about a circle here with P in the middle, if A is here, then 180 degrees around there is going to put A up there. And so from P, we would go one right and two down. So that means we're going to go one left and two up. We're going to do exactly the opposite. That's what 180 degrees means. And if you th remember, the rule for 180 is negative x, negative, opposite x, opposite y. And that means that you're going to do exactly the opposite. So if c is 1 to the left of P, C prime is going to be 1 to the right. B is 1 left and 1, 2, 3 down. And so we're going to go 1 right and 3, 1, 2, 3 up. And there's B prime. So there's our rotation. Now we're going to translate it. So translation, remember, means that every point does what the vector says to do. And this vector says 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right and 1 up. So every point 
is moving five right and one up. So B goes one, two, three, four, five right and one up. A goes one, two, three, four, five and one up. And C goes one, two, three, four, five, and one up. And my triangle is there. Now, it says we want to do the reflection across line L. So a reflection is just going to put everything exactly the same distance away from line L as it is on the other side. So C is one away from line L. B is one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, here's C, I mean B. And A is one, two, three, so one, two, three. And there's our final figure. Now let's go down to the bottom of this page and I want you to try um, number seven, okay? And then check back here after you're done. Okay, now see what I've done here is I've done the first one in yellow, okay? And the first one is just reflected across L. And so A, B, and C are just the same distance across line L as the original one is. And then second, I did the 90 degree rotation around point P. Now remember, 90 degree rotation follows the rule negative Y, X. So down here in the blue, I wrote the distance from P. And you can follow in red. So P, if A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 1. That's where I got this from, okay? B is three, uh, right three, up four. And C is right three, up one. So then what I did is I did, I followed the rule and I wrote the new coordinates for it. And then I did the same thing. Um, the negative one means left one, up five. One, two, three, four, five. And that's where I put A, and so forth, and so forth. Okay, so let's look at the next page. And we're going to combine um, non-rigid functions. So, the, if we look at B, it says XY goes to 3XY, goes to 1 half X, and negative one-half y. So the first transformation, what happens right here? Well, it, it's x, right? So that means it's a horizontal stretch factor of three. Okay, and then it says it wants us to apply the image. So pause and write down the coordinates of A, B, C first. Okay, so I have my original coordinates written in red, and now I'm going to apply the stretch. Um, and we're going to label it primes, A triangle, A prime, B prime, C prime. So my A prime would be 0, negative 2. Uh, B prime would be negative 6, negative 4, and C prime would be negative 12, negative 4. So I'm going to draw this triangle. I'm going to pause it while I draw the, draw the triangle. Okay, there's my triangle with the, the um, first transformation. Um, the stretch factor of 3 applied to it. My triangles are getting better, by the way. I hope everybody noticed. And my second transformation is a dilation of a factor of 1 half. Okay, and we're going to apply it um, and then label this in blue. So pause it and do that and then come back. 
Okay, so you can see my new triangle. I just said I was getting better at it, and that one I didn't, but you can see it there. Um, and that is applying to um, non-rigid transformations. So let's go to page 120. And we're going to predict the result of applying a, transformation, a sequence of transformations. So we have this rectangle, and it's reflected uh, across the y-axis and then translated on the vector. So if we reflect it across the y-axis, um, we are moving it to the left, moved, to left. Okay, and then what will the 5, 4 do? Um, well, it will move it right, 5, and up, 4. And it will have, will it have the same size and shape? Yes, it will, because there's no um, multiplying going on, okay? And that's it, that's all there is for this.